hello guys welcome back so in the last video we have already seen some basic concept of javascript and that is mandatory for any beginner who is going to be a part of javascript development right so let's understand uh, the question that i have talked in the first part of the video that what is the difference between uh, where uh, you can say let and const right so we'll see the difference between where let and const in the javascript okay so first of all if we'll talk about the where right so where is a function scope or global scope you can say right so if we declare inside a function so it's limited to the function right uh, to that function only you can say right if we declare outside the function it's global so let's uh, uh, understand so if i will write a uh, let's suppose function okay if i'm going to write a function let me change the color okay if i will write a function i will give the function name let's suppose uh, example okay if i will write the example name, okay so the function name is example or m1 m2 anything you can write and i will write like this okay let me do a little clean up you should write a small name that is why i'm cleaning okay so okay so i'm saying if you'll write a function let's suppose i will give the name m1 right so in the m1 function right what i'm going to do i will define a variable where x let's suppose and i'll give a value one i will assign a value in the variable x right and its data type is where right so when a variable x having data inside a function right so this scope right inside the function is what is uh, a function scope right right so how we will define that let's suppose function defined so if the further program if you write if and let's suppose i will write true true is already true and then i will go i will write uh, where x again now i will do two right so here what we are doing what we are doing here so we are doing we have already a variable x i'm i'm what i'm doing same variable i have right here like here right so when i will make a console here let's suppose i will uh, clean this one and i will write here console console dot log you can try right console dot log and i will write x so what i will get here definitely i will get here 2 correct and then if i will write after the if condition same same line console dot log console dot log and i will print here x definitely i will get value 2 got it and i will close this so as you can see here we have defined a variable x here right we have defined a variable x and again i redefine a variable x having value 2 right so the in the javascript if you reassign or sorry re uh, declare a variable right you will not get the error but when you will uh, do console.log or you will you want to use that variable the latest assigned value declaration value or assign value that we have seen here right that we will get here and here or anywhere in the function further in the function right so that is why a variable is a function scope right or you can say global scope right so we'll talk about how the global scope is that okay so if we write a function anywhere in a uh, function right so it will become function scope if we write a any variable as a as a where right so this scope become function scope or global scope you can say so if we declare inside a function it is limited to that function we will not use outside this function right that we will see in the future but i'm just telling you uh, the difference right so if declare outside the function it's global so any variable will write here where y equal to uh, 3 let's suppose right then if want to be used then it will be used anywhere in the function or outside the function 
okay let's talk about uh, some concept there is a hosting i may know that you may aware of this one so what is hosting hosting a uh, variable when we when a variable declare with the var right when we declare with a var are hosted hosted to the top of their scope right and initialized with the undefined when you define let's suppose you write a var x let's suppose and you write like this okay so automatically it is saying that the value in this is undefined means default value is undefined so if you write console.log anywhere right console.log then you will get what undefined let's suppose in this case i will write console.log here console.log x here let me clean what i'm trying to say so when i was talking about uh, hosting g right then if i will write console dot log here right and i will write here x so what i will get here i will get undefined why because it's a feature right when a variable declares with a variable x var right that is called it is hosted hosted you can say right on the top of all these things right the whole code you will going to write on that it means it means the if we, we want to find the scope of this value it will come undefined right so it means what you can use them before the initialization declaration also but you will get like this let's talk about uh, let me clean okay okay let's talk about uh, a redeclaration that we have seen right redeclaration what will happen when we do redeclaration so we have a variable that call allows you to redefine the same variable within the same scope right without any error so we have a variable x let's suppose one if we will rewrite the variable x equal to 2 so in any other language you may see a error at this line but in javascript there is no error make sure you know that right but whenever you want to find the value of x you will get the latest value right now let's talk about uh, the very the let value right what is let right we have seen the where now it's time to see let so let is a block scope right what is block when we write a block right the piece of code we write okay so when we write curly braces right and we want to define that right so it is called block scope right so it is only a scope within the block so where it is declared let's suppose i have a function that is m1 that we are talking about then i will write curly braces so this is a block when i will start here block and let's suppose i will close this block here so inside this we can write the block okay so let x equal to 1 so this x is entirely we can use in the block okay similarly if it is true we can write what uh, we can let suppose we will uh, write x let x equal to 2 then we have we can use different variables here right but we are using like this okay then i will do console dot log and i will write x so what i will get here definitely 2 and then this f if is completed close now i will write console dot log and then what should i write x now you tell what value it will come here what should be the value here so value should be here is 1 why i told you this is also a this is also a block what is this this is also block right and that is why we have defined here 2 right 
but when we have defined here it is out of the scope it will not go here inside because we have already defined so it is inside the block right and we have defined x equal to do but we have defined inside this right right so when we come outside this the way this scope will not come out right so its value will be x value is 1 here so better you use a variable y here and write here y right that's a, 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 a better way to write the code but if you want to understand the concept so that is why i have written like this okay i hope you like this video and uh, the in the another part of the video we'll see the const and other things okay thank you thank you for watching this video guys